I'm Brian, and it is a beautiful day on the homestead. Thank you so much for joining us as we build this glamping tent. This has been something that I've wanted to do for quite a while. The first time that I saw glamping, I thought it was kind of ridiculous, but awesome at the same time. And the thing is, I've always enjoyed camping, being out in nature. Sarah has not really enjoyed uh, camping. So every time that she saw glamping, she said, I could, I could do that, that looks like fun. And the more I thought about it, the more I like the idea of having a little bit of uh, luxury in the middle of the woods, having warmth in the winter, having a bed. Uh, as I get older, the less I like to sleep on the ground. I really enjoy hammock camping, that's pretty awesome. But at the end of the day, having a tent with laminate floors, with a wood burning stove, with a refrigerator, with the lamps, it's pretty awesome. We have been using our property here to host campers for the last couple years. Started in April of uh, 2021, and just to test it out. And we have signed up with Hip Camp to let people camp on our property. And it's been pretty great. Most everybody has left and said, thank you so much for letting us camp on your property. One of the things that we bought this property for was to share it, to allow people to come out here, spend time with nature, spend time with God, and we have been doing that since actually before we moved in, uh, a whole year and a half almost. We started letting people stay here in about April of 2021. It's now February of 2023, so it's almost been two years that we've been on hip camp and I tried to count the number of campers that we've had, but it's, it's a lot. So what we did was we leveled the land, we set the tent out, set it up, and then we went to work building out the floor. The flooring actually took a little bit longer than I had really wanted to. Uh, I was really hoping that we'd just be able to lay some Advantech down, and that didn't go exactly as planned. I realized that we were going to need to stabilize it, so we built some runners that, the, that we could use as joists. That actually worked out incredibly well and made it flat enough that we were able to then put the, uh, the, the laminate flooring down.
There's a nice big stick right there. How's the fire going? Is it going enough to put a log on? Yeah. Well, okay. Let's go put a log on the stove. Oh, that's nice. This stove is incredible. Before we actually got delivery of the tent, I had ordered the stove. And I had been looking on Amazon for different wood burning stoves. And all of them seemed really cheap and chintzy and they all came from China. I did some searching on Etsy to see if somebody made, made any of them. And I, I found Northwoods Fabrication Company. And they had a good selection of, of stoves. And I realized uh, that they have a website and I just bought it from the website. I bought the necessary stove pipe and fittings for everything that I needed, the dampers, etc. And this stove has been incredible. It went together really well and really easily. Uh, it burns fire really great. And I just really uh, enjoyed the stove. We'll probably do some sort of review on it by itself at some point. But those guys over at Northwoods are awesome. Uh, really responsive, they sent it out incredibly fast. Spent a couple of really cold nights out here and it kept us warm the whole night. I put some logs in the fire at around midnight and then maybe four or five in the morning I'd have to go and, and add some more. And then around eight-ish I'd, I'd add some more and it was perfect. couple plans we have for this tent. I will be building out a solar system for it. I've got uh, the solar battery, the solar chargers, etc. I ordered all the pieces necessary to build out a essentially a solar kit for it. Two 100 watt solar panels. The idea is we have a refrigerator in there that needs to be you know plugged in all the time. I'm gonna have a couple lamps in there so that people can go in at the end of the day, get some light, you know, read, etc. Uh, maybe plug their phones in, whatever. That's coming next. We think it's really important that people take control of their food sources. We recently got pigs and we've processed a couple of them. Check out this video over here showing the process of how we've done that. And if you'd like to follow the journey of how we are building our house with cash and debt free, follow this playlist over here. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it.